Hey, thanks for coming by today. Splitting some wood because I'm going to get a campfire going. Got some snow crab legs that I want to do over the fire. And uh, we're also going to make some summer succotash with, uh, we got some yellow squash. We got some zucchini. Might even do up a little sausage. All that's to come, so stick around. Um, it's a beautiful evening here in western North Carolina. So I'm going to go change and uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, first things first, I've got uh, some of this stick of butter, some chopped up garlic, and some rosé wine. And we're just going to let that melt over here in the fire. This is going to kind of be our base for, you know, the snow crab and the, and the succotash. We're just going to use this on everything. I've also got some of this spicy hot Italian sausage. I'm going to kind of try to do my best to do that indirectly over the fire, so I'm just going to let those get going. They're going to take a little bit. Hi, today on the Sideshow we're going to make a, a grilled summer succotash. We're going to start off with some corn, and I have some summer squash and zucchini cut pretty big. This is some big style succotash. And here's some beans from the garden. Use what you have. Sure to throw a lot of Creole seasoning on there, folks. This is going to be a Greek yogurt and fresh herb dressing for our grilled succotash at the end. And here I have some Greek yogurt and some salt and pepper. And then I'm going to add some olive oil and just some vinegar or you can use lemon juice or whatever. And I'm going to cut up this pile of fresh herbs. I have mint and basil and dill and parsley, just whatever I have in the garden again and a couple cloves of garlic. It's all going to go in there. Alright, this succotash is looking pretty much done. Alright, I've got some bread here. I'm going to butter that up real quick. I hit it with some of this Creole seasoning. I'm going to flip this upside down and grill that. It's been a minute. Let's check them out and see how they look. Yeah, that's what you want right there. So I'm going to set those off to the side. Yeah. Like that. All right, I'm going to make a little bit of lime sauce for dipping the crab in. All right, so this is a really, really easy thing to make. Just need some lime juice. I've got some salt and pepper in here, and that's it.
Got the idea for this recipe from a video, a recent video, up on the channel Deer Meat for Dinner. I'll put a link to that episode right above there. Go check out that channel. I'm just going to whisk this together. That's it, folks. All right, time to get the crab legs on. So what we did was we slit the inside of these legs here. And I'm gonna hit that with some of this garlic butter that we made earlier. Just gonna hit all these. Okay, we're going to try some of this crab out. Martha's doing the honors. All right. Okay, I got myself a nice uh, piece right here. Let's try it out. Just simply lime juice, salt and pepper. Mmm. What do you think? I think it's all great. Yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We really enjoyed having you around and it was fun to cook outside over the campfire. We want to start eating this before it gets too cold. So thanks a lot for tuning in today. I hope to see you next weekend. I try to put out videos every Saturday. So subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you all so much for your support. So until next time, I say smoke them if you got them. That's right. <laughs>